welcome to ACE Engineering Academy. We are back with another recruitment notification by NRL, that is Numaligar Refinery Limited. NRL is a subsidiary of Oil India Limited and has been given the Mini Ratna Category 1 status. NRL deals with the refining and marketing of petroleum products and not only that, it is also the largest producer of paraffin wax in the country. NRL invites applications for the position of graduate engineer trainee for civil, mechanical, chemical, electrical, metallurgy, instrumentation and computer science graduates. Now let's talk about the number of vacancies branch-wise. For graduate engineer trainee civil, the total number of vacancies are six and candidates who have a first class PE B.Tech degree in civil engineering full-time course with a minimum of 65% marks aggregate may apply for the position. For graduate engineer trainee mechanical, the total number of vacancies are 20 and the candidates with first class BE and B.Tech degree in mechanical engineering full-time course with a minimum of 65% marks aggregate may apply for the position. For graduate engineer trainee instrumentation, the number of vacancies are 11 and candidates who have a first class BE and BTEC degree full-time course in instrumentation engineering or instrumentation and control engineering or instrumentation and electronics engineering with a minimum of 65% aggregate marks may apply for the position. For graduate engineer trainee electrical, the number of vacancies are 8 and candidates who have a first class BE and BTEC degree full-time course in electrical engineering with a minimum 65% aggregate marks may apply for the position. Next is for the position of graduate engineer trainee chemical. The number of vacancies are 10 and candidates who have first class BE and B.Tech degree in chemical engineering full-time course with a minimum of 65% aggregate marks may apply for the position. For graduate engineer trainee computer science, the number of vacancies are 5 and the candidates with first class BE and B.Tech degree full-time course in computer science engineering with a minimum of 65% aggregate marks may apply for the position. And for graduate engineer trainee metallurgy, the number of vacancy is one and candidates with a first class BE and BTEC full-time course in metallurgy or metallurgical and material engineering with a minimum of 65% aggregate marks may apply for the position. The upper age limit to apply is 30 years. Age relaxation of 3 years is given to OBC category. Age relaxation of 5 years is given to SC and ST category. For PWBD UR category, 10 years of age relaxation is provided. For PWBD OBC category, 13 years of age relaxation is provided. And for PWBD SC and ST category, 15 years of age relaxation is given. And the age calculation date is 1st of July 2021. Now let's talk about the basic pay scale and CTC. The selected candidates for NRL job grade 2 will be placed on a basic pay scale of 50,000 to 160,000 with CTC of 17.7 lakhs approximately. And for NRL job grade 1, the basic pay scale would be 40,000 to 140,000 with a CTC of 15.1 lakh approximately. The graduate engineer trainee will be on a training period of one year and will be paid a consolidated stipend per month. And after the training, they will be on a probation period of one year and will be paid according to the respective grade pay scale. The selected candidates may be posted in any location or branch or function of the company or any other joint venture of the company, may even be deputed to any department of the government of India or any other PSUs etc.
Let's talk about the selection process. The selection will be done through a computer-based test and the shortlisted candidates will go for a personal interview and or a group task. After the training, the candidates will have to sign a bond of Rs 3 lakh to serve the company for a period of 3 years. The computer-based test will consist of only objective type questions and there is no negative marking. And there will be 4 sections in the test. Section A will test your technical knowledge and 80% of the questions will be from Section A. Section B, C and D will comprise of general knowledge, English language and reasoning and numeric ability. And the candidates who get selected in after the computer based test will be called for personal interview or group task or maybe both. The applications will be accepted through online mode only. And the last date of application is 13th of August 2021. Talking about the application fee, the application fee for general OBC and EWS candidates is 500 per post and the SC, ST and PWBD candidates are exempted from the payment of application fee. Please log in to the NRL website that is www.nrl.co.in and you can click on the career section you will be able to see the current opening and if there is any new update it will also be visible there. That was all about this notification. Thank you so much for watching and please do not forget to click on the subscribe button and click on the bell icon so that whenever a new video is uploaded you will get a notification.